Hey guys, Omni here. We are finally about to dive into Hawkeye over on Disney+. Plus. It's been a little while. It feels like it's we've been absent an MCU series to check out for quite a bit ever since What If came to a close. Uh, of course, we've had the Eternals in theaters since then, but you know, I'm ready to get back into some MCU action over on the Disney Plus side of things. Uh, you know, the this this show, I'll, I'll be honest, and I've said this before, I wasn't all that excited about it to be honest like when they announced it on i was like i'm gonna watch it but i wasn't like thrilled until we got those trailers i've been pretty excited to check this thing out so um and more Haley steinfeld because oh my god uh between this and arcane i'm ready to see what she what else she can do man because yeah, the only two frames of reference that i actually have for her um but guys i'm excited I'm not going to talk too much about this one because I really don't have a lot to say going into it because we ought to start it to really talk about it, right? And before you jump into this, I did want to let everybody know if you want to see the full-length reaction to this episode, it's going to be on Patreon or if you become a member here on the channel, it gets you access as well. It's just one of the ways you can help support us on the channel and help us do what we do, maybe work towards expanding the shows that we cover as well as the types of reactions we do. I'd love to do more movie reactions. We did Train to Busan, but... That was more of a special occasion kind of thing, um, but I'd like to do more stuff like that, and that's one of the ways you can help to get uh, help us get to that point. Over there, uh, for the full lengths, all you need is your own footage. Sync it up with the time code. You can see my full reaction to the entire episode because to get these things viewable on YouTube, I have to trim everything down to 10 minutes so that they can be visible for you guys. But I know that's not a way that everybody can support us over there, and I definitely understand. I do appreciate everybody who has signed up and all that jazz. But of course, another way you can support the channel is simply by liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing the videos. But either way, I really appreciate you guys, and let's go ahead and jump into episode one of Hawkeye. Here we go. Never meet your heroes. Okay, we have to sell the penthouse. No, we don't. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot Vera Formiga was in this. Mommies can be pretty fun too, you know. I bet she didn't know I could do this. <laughs> Why don't you go grab the checkers? We can liven things up. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs. I'll be right back. Okay. There's so much left. Fuck was that? Oh, is this the attack? Yeah. Oh God. I knew it was the same year, but I didn't think it would actually happen Mommy? in the middle of it. Mommy, what's happening? Mommy? Yeah, that would be fucking terrifying. Dad, Daddy, where are you? Mommy? <laughs> Stack Tower. I need a bow. I need a bow and arrow. <laughs> Ooh. I really like these credits. <laughs> I like it. It just shows all the things she's done to practice and prep. All her hobbies are for a purpose. That was a really cool credit sequence. Present day. I know it's a bet, but are you sure that arrow won't damage it? Well, that was. 
was a bit of a letdown. Mm. Okay, you know what? Just get, hang on. Let me just fix this. Give me a second. <laughs> oh my <laughs> Rogers the musical captures the heart of a hero. <laughs> I could do this all day. They better have a soundtrack with this. <laughs> Aww. Did you turn your hearing aid off? <laughs> Yo, honey, I know. I know what happened since I was there. He knew it wasn't there. Well, he he was on the second round through, but not in the fight. I'd watch that whole play. Thanos was right. <laughs> well, I mean, we've got more context, and yeah. A selfie would be really rad, dude. Yeah, it's not really the appropriate time. Now that I <laughs> hey guys, what's up? What's you doing? What are you doing here? Why is everyone singing and dancing about everything? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the dean said it had a bell and a clock, and overachiever that you are, you managed to destroy both. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have expected the entire thing to collapse from just ringing the damn thing. What's with all the swords, Mom? There have been a few changes while you're away this semester. Ta da! Jack! Mm, oh my god! An unexpected surprise. Shit, I don't remember this actor's name, but uh, he's in Breaking Bad. He's like a treat. That was in your mouth. <laughs> so it was. We cannot so was your mother. Hmm. <laughs> Christmas tree. The biggest one you'll ever see in your life. It's enormous. You guys want to go see that after this? Yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah, let's go. Aw. Well, you guys all good? Um, yeah, it'd be a lot easier if you were here. Well, the whole point was for you to get some alone time with the kids. No, I'm kidding. Okay, you're actually having a really good time. See you soon. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Look, it's six days into Christmas. Aww. Movie marathon. Awesome. Uh, ugly sweaters. Ugly Christmas. <laughs> Please. Yeah, Dean, it's on us. Thank you. Oh, well, that's, that's not necessary. It's necessary. You saved our city. Oh. Thank you. He can't escape this. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's making him uncomfortable. You're the little bishop girl. Yes, I am. You used to come to my brownstone for brunch. Oh, build your own blintz bar. <laughs> Precisely. Gosh, I recognize this guy, but I can't pinpoint where. I want to go home. I'm bored. That's no way to talk, Armand. That's not the way you were brought up. <laughs> Armand. Armand. Yes, Armand. I'm Armand. <laughs> Another Armand, I see. Yes, I'm Armand the Third, and he's Armand the Seventh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> More eavesdropping. I've got powerful friends too. I don't want to mess with them. Hmm. Up next, we have a very special piece an artifact recovered from the wreckage of the. Oh no. The Ronin decimated the criminal underworld of this city. The Ronin brought a brutal form of justice to his victims. Now you can no 
own this one-of-a-kind retractable sword and will start the bidding at $200,000. Do I hear $200,000? That's it? Man, they have awful peripheral vision. Four seventy-five bidder bidder. Do I hear five hundred? I've got four seventy-five here. It's going once. Four seventy-five is going twice. Mm. Sold for four hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Up next, the Ronin suit. Saw that coming. We've got 90 seconds to find a watch. Everything else is secondary. Let's go, bro. Spread out. Let's go. Let's go. We're after a watch. Got a bit of an awkward fit, doesn't it? Especially the hood. God damn. <laughs> that worked out in her favor. Hmm. Whose watch is it? I don't recognize it. But it's that Avengers compound. Hey! Oh God, no. I want some pizza. All right, biggest suspension of disbelief broken here. The fact that she could use those gloves on a touchscreen phone. Monogrammed butterscotch. <laughs> I could go for one of those right now, but right now I gotta pretty much settle for a, a halls. Oh, lovely. Uh, I'm betting that was the uh, the Ronin sword was used on him. She's wearing the outfit. She's gonna get blamed for it. Maybe. <laughs> Just her in the background, like scooting out the door. Oh, great. We got you now, bro. Why are you making it so tough on us, bro? Not bad. Nice. <laughs> you're, you're a Hawkeye. And who the hell are you? 
Oh, damn. That was it? Fuck. That kind of flew by. That was a nice little run through. I like that episode. I like the feeling, the tone of everything. Again, the Christmas music kind of helps. The setting is beautiful. But there's some lovely touches in here. You know, just kind of him, like, just trying to live his life, it seems like. And then he keeps getting recognized. You know, there's the play being made about them. And then, you know, the trigger of seeing somebody uh, remind him of Nat and how that kind of reflected back in his mind. You know, he's got his hearing aid. So, it's like, somebody had mentioned, like, this is uh, t set two years after Endgame, which would make this the the farthest out MCU thing we've seen so far since then. So, um, and we know he was trying to retire to begin with before everything went to shit. So, I like seeing that element of it. Um, I know a lot of people, because the mom was absent in any of the trailers, was thinking like, oh no, what if he's divorced or something like that, or if she died or whatever, but no, they just wanted a, uh, a father vacation with the kids to bond. So, I like that about it. It was really wholesome, like him, his interactions with his kids, it was really fun. Um, them using the opening credits to kind of, uh, give us more of Kate's background of like how she would be applicable to being like, uh, or, um, conditioned for being a superhero. I like that. Like she was inspired at a very young age after this tragic event in New York from Hawkeye's actions to kind of pursue that, especially after she was, she wasn't able to, or her father wasn't able to protect her family and something like that. So she wanted to be the protector it inspired her to move towards that. So she made that a mission. Archery, martial arts, gymnasts, gymnastics, not gymnasts. <laughs> um, and seeing her kind of like become like really good at all of that. Meanwhile, while she's away at school, her mom. Um, now, I don't really know or remember much about this storyline. I just know it's renowned um, as one of the top notch Hawkeye story, so I don't really know the details. Um, and I'm, I'm not all that familiar with her character uh, from the comics, um, as I've said many times, but there's probably some new people here on the channel uh, checking this out for the first time, so I'll just say this. like I always grew up a DC guy. Um, the Marvel side of things was mostly my exposure came from the live-action movies, the 90s Spider-Man, the 90s X-Men. That was pretty much it until the MCU came about. Um... So, forgive me if I don't know something specific. So, that being said, I love what Vera Farmiga is doing. She's looking great. Um, and I need to remember that actor's name. I need to look it up. Actually, you know, we're in the credits, so I might be able to just, like, let it play for a second to uh, figure that out. The guy uh, that's um, marrying Kate's mom... He's a really fun actor. I really like him. Um, he He's a big part of uh, Break... Uh, not Breaking Bad. A big part of uh, Better Call Saul. I think I said Breaking Bad in the in the reaction bit of the this, but it was Better Call Saul. He's very likable, very energetic, and he's, like, really great at playing, like, these underworld kind of characters. And... Um, I'm honestly pretty surprised and excited to see what they do with him. Um, I don't even remember his name, but here we go. Tony Dalton. That's it. All right, cool. Um, but I like what they did with this. You know, him being on this vacation, then on the news, somebody dressed up as Ronan's running around, throwing down some vigilante justice on some people, and now is possibly connected to a murder. You might want to clean that up, especially find out who's using his moniker and running around with it, especially one that isn't public, one that he probably doesn't want anybody to know about that phase of his life during the blip when he was left behind. Yeah, I don't know. I liked it. I dug the tone of it. I liked the way it was shot. Some of the action probably could have been a little bit better, but it is what it is. It's the Kate Bishop's first, uh, Haley Steinfeld's first outing in the MCU. So I'm sure like uh, getting used to filming this kind of stuff will take some time. Uh, we'll just have to see how things unfold, guys. What do you think of this? I would really love to see, I would really love to see uh, that full musical. And who knows? Like, come on, Marvel. 
Give us the soundtrack to that. I would buy the soundtrack to that Avengers musical. Or that uh, Rogers musical. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Well, guys, that's our first dip into Hawkeye. What did you think of the episode? Sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Feel free to join our Discord. Links to that and all my socials down below. And if you want to see the full-length reaction, remember that's on Patreon or if you become a member here on the channel, it gets you access as well. And speaking of, I want to shout out our channel legends before we go. Mandy Sherritt, Ryan Karen, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yori Korskov, Margaret Grace, Mary Bradley, Jeffrey Hale, and various abominations. Thank you guys so much for your support. But it's been a blast being back in the MCU with you guys. But that's it for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.